Hi, welcome to another Karen Ferris rant. When does she do anything else, I hear you say. But this one has really got me fired up. I do a lot across social media, as you will probably know, and I curate a lot of other information that I think my readership will be interested in. And I'm sick and tired right now of reading articles from people who ought to know better about what leadership needs to look like post pandemic. And they're talking about things like saying thank you, using the word we, being effective communicators, having regular meetings, working with emotional intelligence and psychological safety. Please, these are things that leaders should have been doing well before COVID-19 became a thing. The difference, let's talk about the things leaders are going to have to do differently, not things that they should have been doing anyway. I'm not saying they don't need to be better communicators and improve their emotions, emotional intelligence, but that should be something leaders strive to do all the time is improve how they lead. Let's think about the things leaders will have to do differently. For instance, their leadership style post pandemic will need to be bimodal. They'll be leading hybrid teams. They will be leading people that they're physically face to face with, and they'll be leading people who are working remotely. And those people may change from virtual to physical, physical to virtual. And the leader of the future needs to know how to lead in those different environments. The environment now has many different moving parts that adds a complexity that leaders may not have had to deal with before. Think of the leader as a, uh, the leader of a, a conductor of an orchestra. They need to make sure that everybody can play their instrument to the best of their ability and that they can also come together and play as a team regardless of where they're located. So there's clear rules of engagement, clear roles and responsibility, which it's clear who plays what and who does what. And what the leader has to deal with is how do they enable the members of that orchestra to be the best that they can if they're virtual, and if they're physical, you're going to have different tools, different techniques and approaches. So I'm going to talk about this the rest of this week, the things that leaders need to do differently moving forward. Bye.